What's up, y'all? It's Matt Poffer of the legendary My Expert Opinion Show. Y'all can check me out in Chattanooga for the Hip Hop Summit out there October 14th. I'll be there. I hope you're there too. Salute. It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. But none of the negative stuff that you're talking about was, was like direct, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, my, my shit was direct. No, your shit was direct. Mm -hmm. But the stuff that you was getting from people, it was oh. nothing that you could say, Jay said this to oh, my face. Oh, definitely, yeah, and, I didn't, and that's why I didn't go on that. I didn't go on that. And um, because, you know, people love, people love that shit. They love beef. They love drama. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that they start calling it beef. I was like, yo, I'm going to tell y'all like I tell everybody else. Beef is when you got two left in the clip, you behind a thin ass tree and this is busting at you. Mm -hmm. That's beef. All this other shit is child's play. Right. You know, mm -hmm. clowning around, talk, 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 talk. Right. But um, I, I just, you know, in all of this, like, I, I got I to gotta compliment y'all. First off, because y'all got a lot of this stuff from me that I wouldn't even expect to yeah. say on camera. Mm -hmm. And two, it doesn't matter to me because it's the truth. Everybody got to live with it. Whatever I said, whatever comes out of my mouth, I got to live with it. You know, I'm not throwing dirt on anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling how it happened. You know, people can evaluate and I'm sure they never hesitate to evaluate the whole situation to me so many times. Look, man, if it wasn't for you, I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. all well and good. But you don't know my next, uh, my next move. Mm -hmm. You can't calculate my next move for me because number one, you not me. Number two, you going off for of emotion. And I'm, I'm doing my best to go on rational thinking and what's beneficial to me and what is most healthy you know if right. anything is wrong then i you know and 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 sometimes people like it's almost to the point of naivete when you sit there and say like then this happened that happened that happened like to go back to what you said you know as far as it doesn't matter the intention or or what have you is the end result so you tell me how how should i evaluate all of this as far as an end result from regardless of what his intentions or anybody's intentions was in our little scenario if you want to call it you know what i'm saying well did you really want me to answer that i asked you oh okay um, how would you evaluate the end result? Where do you stand now? Hmm? Into, where, did, where do the two of you stand now? I mean, we more than cordial. More than cordial? Yeah. Okay, so the result's not that bad. The end result's not that bad. Yeah, Could but probably... you asked me a question. You answered my question with a question. I said, well, how do you because... evaluate? Not me. How do you evaluate? Would, because a, you told I'm me, a... you, you brought a, up a great point about No, but that's, that's part of my answer. That's part of my answer as okay. to where you stand now would, would determine where it, where it ended up at. With the end result. Right. That's okay. the end result. So if the end result is that you're more than cordial, mm -hmm. then that's not a bad place to be with somebody that you came up with. But it's not, a, it's not the best place. It's not where we would hope it would be. And when I say we, I don't mean you and him. I mean outsiders looking in who are fans, mutual fans of you both. Mm -hmm. We would both want you to be super cool. We would both want y'all to be you know, lockstep like it was again, mm -hmm. making more classic records, palling around. We would—that's what we would dig to see. 
the mentor and the mentee on equal grounds, breaking bread as as equals. That would be fire. Mm -hmm. We would love to see that. But if you're more than cordial, still communicate with each other, it's not bad. Because mm -hmm. some, some miscommunications end way worse than that. And from what I'm hearing, from what you've told us, this all feels like one big ass miscommunication. Mm -hmm. so, so again, I gotta bring this back. How did the disc record start? Right, part three, right? <laughs> um, yo, so it's so crazy. Like you, you bear. I barely remember. Um, I think the how how. I mean the the, the, the high shit. Yeah, that, that shit because, jumped it off. Yeah, because of the um. So you saying they they this? Oh, it was Jeter. Here we go. Um, now nah. you remember? Nah, I, I, remember I remember the record. He remembers. Yes. But who went first? He remembers. Freeway. Nah. He's no, not nah, the same. Nah, he's no. talking about. He's talking about who, who started who struck yeah. first. Oh, who struck okay. first? So, um, what happened was, um, let me see. Okay, I think Jay was up at. Hot 97. And I'm trying to remember whether this was before or after. Um, but he was up at Hot 97 and they were taking calls. And the subject matter had to do with me. And so, so I called and they put me on hold and what I ended up getting was, um, Angie said, Jay said, holler at him at the studio. And I didn't. Why not? Ego. <laughs> nah, nah, actually, actually wasn't. It was just the fact that you got, you got the, the, um, you on the airwaves and you're saying stuff about me. What was he saying? I can't even remember, but it wasn't good. <laughs> saying stuff about me and I can't rebut because what Angie Martinez said was that we taking callers. If I call, then I think I satisfy <laughs> the, the criteria. The criteria of being a caller. And um they didn't let me talk because I was calling to defend myself. Like, look, this is not true, and I got proof for this. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but I know maybe I chose to forget some of that shit, but I know that's what kind of set it off. You know, I can't, I can't speak. And I felt like that's when they weren't playing fair. It's like, oh, he's up here and he could say this and say that. And then. But what was said? You don't remember? You don't remember. I don't remember. I really I could, don't. I could, I could. I'll probably remember tonight sometime <laughs> after I leave here. Be like, yo. But I, I don't remember because I was so. I was more um, absorbed, if you will. I was more absorbed in the fact that that this nigga saying anything about me based on illegitimate whatever, you know, shit that hearsay, you might as well say. Right, so, but, but, but this is the same year that um, that you you got the source article and and you were here with the quote of just put my name in quotations. Mm-hmm. Or put my name in a quote. Mm-hmm. Same year. To so, my recollection. So was, yeah. This was kind of brewing be mm -hmm. between the two of y'all. Yeah. Through outside forces. Not just outside forces, because at the end of the day, it takes two to tango. The circumstances could be vary, you know, it could vary in circumstances. 
Um, you know, there's some people who say like, oh, you shouldn't bring that up. Mm-hmm. There's some people say that, yeah, bring it up, you know, bring that fire, whatever the fuck. <clears throat> but my thing is that these things happen. You know, um, I don't want people having any question of my integrity. I don't want them having any, so I gotta speak. You know, I can't, I can't go on with the acquiescence and not saying anything. But I, I made a promise to myself, like to be fair. I'm not gonna throw dirt on anybody that they didn't throw on themselves. Um, I'm not saying that everything I do is perfect and right. I'm not saying that everything he did was perfect and right. You know, and there could, there could be a lot of people say, well, you know, the couple of billion that say that everything he did was right, mm-hmm. you know, but um, that's in, that's in that world. And as odd as it may seem, I'm not in that world. You know, my music could be in there and part of my spirit due to the music, because I put I put that into the music. But I'm as a person, I'm not in that world because I don't really, I don't really care. Well, after the shots started flying. You dropped about two clips. Mm-hmm. The Rockefeller camp, they fired back. Did you find it funny that he never himself jumped on a record to diss you? Yeah, that was that was his way of. I don't know. You gotta ask him on now. <laughs> Wait, what you but say? Never jumped on a record. He, to he diss never. Him? He never actually dissed never Jazz or back on a record. Right. He actually was shouting them out on the disc record. Jazzo, Jazzo, his new album is out, it's currently playing. He was like, he wasn't dissing them. Yeah, but right. what about the Black album? Yeah, he didn't diss on that 4th. either. Yes, he did. Did he? Yes, on, the, on December 4th. What's the line? He said, uh, supposedly, no one, nobody paid jazz swag ass. I'm getting ahead of myself by the way I could rap. What'd he say after that? That comes second to me moving this crap. Crack. Yeah, that went Give off. Give me the a topic. second, I swear I would say about my rap career, the 96 came niggas, I'm here. Goodbye. Goodbye. But mm-hmm. the way I took that line <clears throat> was it mm-hmm. it was an innuendo of a diss, but I took it more like Jay was struggling. He was struggling at the time with listening to all the people around him saying shit mm-hmm. and struggling with the fact of having some type of loyalty to Jazz or being that he's somebody that groomed him. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think he said that line after that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Like, I shouldn't be saying shit like this. Right. I should just call a nigga and be like, yo, we need to talk. And quell why, why didn't that ever happen? A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays, I'm on side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. Takes so long to get from Monday to Friday. Then you wake up on Sunday like it was just Friday. Crime pays the iron cage. Had to find ways. I wasn't trying to slave a nine to five till my dying days. Friends.